Hello, Evelyn Hollow here, and happy Star Wars Day! So, for the last three years, I have done a Star Wars drawing, and if you look on my Instagram, all the way back <laughs> to my first drawing was actually one of the first pieces I ever completed on Critter. It was of six different Star Wars characters. They were very hard to do at the time, but I absolutely love looking back on it. And I've just done a few Star Wars drawings here and there, like of Ahsoka and a clay model I made of Ahsoka as well. And then the second Star Wars day, which I did last year, was a whole big like collage of different Ahsokas from like different timelines of Anakin and Grogu. And those were both... Those last two May the 4ths have been quite big drawings, and this time I really wanted to try something a bit different. So I decided to do a landscape. And this is a villa. I cannot <laughs> do the pronunciation of the name, but this is the villa where Anakin and Padme got married. And it was also like Padme's safe house. And a little later on, I'll give a little description of like where the house is and little facts I found about it. But before I do that, I'm just going to start sketching the villa. And so I'm just going to start off with a basic pencil sketch just to get my foundations right. And then I will add on some colour, like blocking and things. But why I really wanted to do a Star Wars landscape is... Like last year, I pre-filmed my video like a few days before so I could get it posted on May the 4th. Where today, I'm editing it today which i normally do a few days before but i've just i've had a bit of an art block for i didn't realize for a few months now and so drawing people's faces lately in my sketchbook had just not been going well and so i was feeling really bummed about that and so i started doing a little landscape just for fun a different one and i just loved the freedom i felt with not staying very like I had been doing very line art drawings and staying in between the lines like more cartoon style lately and I just felt like going outside of the lines you know like I start off with sketch lines but I just wanted to have some fun with colours and textures and just lots of I don't know depth in the picture and so I was like a landscape sounds perfect because I originally did plan to do another like big Ahsoka drawing or Ahsoka and Grogu because I absolutely love Ahsoka's my favorite character and Grogu's so adorable and I also was thinking of doing like the Mandalorian and like with Anakin as well and I just got too big of an idea and so I was like you know what let's just do a landscape for today and I looked up some like Star Wars landscapes and then I, I saw this and I'm like wait that's the the house in Naboo so this is the villa there and by doing this piece, I've felt a little bit more inspired lately to try more drawing and getting a bit more motivated, which is nice again with art. So this was a fun like introduction to drawing again. So since I wanted to draw this villa, I wanted to know a little bit more about it. So I did some research just looking up on Google and I found that it said like for its location, because obviously it was a safe house for Padme and I wanted to learn more on like why it was a safe location because I haven't watched the movies in a little while and I don't know much about it. So the villa was located in the lake country of Naboo, one of the most remote regions. The era was sealed off from the planet's waterways, protecting the state from attacks by various sea monsters that were native to the world. And I thought that was so cool. I didn't realize like they had a lot of like native sea monsters over there. So I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. And on the side of the villa, there were a set of steps that led to a private beach. And across the waters of the lake was an island that was home to a variety of birds, which I just think that makes the world just feel so like real and fun. Like when you hear about little areas around the place and I'm kind of rambling, but I just think it's such a cool area. I'm really glad I decided to draw it and got to learn more about it. For the style of this digital painting, because sometimes I like to try more cartoon style or like realism where this is more semi-realism i really wanted it to look more painterly so i did like more textured brushes and tried not to make things look too smooth and to not put too much detail everywhere that's what i really wanted to work on because sometimes i get a little too focused on the tiny details and get carried away so 
I really wanted to focus more on the bigger picture. And here we are with the picture all finished. I got to print it out this morning and frame it. I am very pleased with how it turned out. So thank you so much for watching. I really did have a wonderful time making this video. And may the 4th be with you.